Hey y'all, welcome to Southern G More Gals. I'm Elizabeth. In our video today, we have four different pineapple DIYs, so let's get started. So here's just a little sneak peek of the DIYs that we're making, so let's jump right in and get started. So for my first DIY, I'm starting with, I don't really know if this is a vase or a little something to make a little nice drink in, but I purchased that from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to spray paint it this heirloom white. And then I'm going to use these little foam pineapples. I also got a pack of these from the Dollar Tree and they have this little kind of hoop there on the top. So I'm just going to clip that off. Then I'm going to use some bright white chalk paint with a little bit of yellow and paint those. And then for my little cup or my vase here, I'm just putting some Mod Podge on here, just kind of dabbing that around. I wanted to use the cinnamon to make it kind of look kind of rusted or weathered looking. This is the first time I used it. Turned out really cool, really easy to do. So I'm just kind of dabbing the Mod Podge on here. And then I'm going to sprinkle the cinnamon on top, kind of blow that off. And then I used a paper towel to kind of wipe it off where, you know, it was a little bit heavy or, or where I wanted it, you know, just kind of smooth it around there where exactly that you want it on your pineapple. But I think it really turned out great i really like that idea I mean, you can see that a lot of, a lot of other youtubers so that's not something <laughs> you know that i come up with I, I don't deserve the credit for that but looks great um this is the little pineapples i did the same thing for those so you can see those are painted there and then i did the mod podge with a little bit of the cinnamon just blew that off and then wiped them off a little bit to kind of give them a little bit of variation in their color and that's it. So simple. I just glued my little pineapples with the hot glue gun onto some little skewers from the Dollar Tree. I used two little different floral pieces from the Dollar Tree. There's one that's a spider kind of plant, I think it's called. And the other one looks like jungle grass to me. It actually had some little butterflies on it. I just clipped those off, put them in my vase. Turned out great. Let's go on to number two. So for number two, I'm using these little pineapple trays I got from the Dollar Tree and some of this clay. So for this one, I'm going to show you how I did it, and then I'm going to tell you how you need to do it. <laughs> so I used the trays, but I put way too much clay in there. They are way too thick and standing way too far off on this pot. I got the little flower pot from Dollar General. I paid a dollar for it, and I just used my hot glue gun there to attach those to the pot. And this is a little file that I used to file down the pine cones there. You can see that one I smoothed down because I wanted it to be a little smoother. It was sticking out way too far. So don't use that much clay in your tray. You probably only need half of it field um, to give you more of a smooth look here for your pineapple. So to start with, I spray painted my flower pot white and I painted the pineapples on there white with the spray paint. And then I took some white chalk paint and some yellow and I just mixed that in to make that kind of a bright yellow. I painted the top here of my pot and then around the bottom. I put some little polka dots in between the pineapples with the tip of my paintbrush and then I painted my little pineapples with some yellow and green and I'm going back on the pineapples and making a little V there to just to give it a little bit of shape and Obviously, you can see I totally missed that when I was trying to film it because I'm trying to film myself painting that, but you cannot see it at all. So you can look there at the pineapples, though. I tried to um, give those a little bit of shape, making this really bright and cheery. So what a great transformation. This looks so bright and cheery now instead of that old blah kind of color it was, the flower pot. The little um, fabric wedge there came from Walmart. Those are 99 cents. I love that pink with the pineapple. I just had to put it in here. Um, the other little floral items just came from the Dollar Tree. I just added those in here to kind of brighten it up. So we're going to go ahead and move on to DIY number three. So this little cutie here came from the Dollar Tree too. And this little pineapple, it lights up, but we're just gonna kind of disregard that because <laughs> we're not using the light up part. But um, I just spray painted my pineapple, the heirloom white spray paint. I originally tried to use the cinnamon. I didn't like the way that that looked on this one. I really wanted something gold kind of colored. I didn't have any gold paint, so of course I found a nail polish <laughs> and it's actually a like a rose gold color is what I used and I just really wanted to kind of get the tips or just the ends of the top of the pineapple so that's all I did I just used the brush that was in the nail polish and just kind of went around and dabbed on the corners there and on the ends and that's it that's all I did I wanted to show you down here that my little helper here he's watching me real close look at him so I spilled all my food out on the ground so I'm standing real close to mommy because I made a mess but he's been here watching me today Day. So we're participating today in the Here's Your Crown Challenge that's hosted by Freckled Mom and Connie at Connie's Nails and Creations. Also Sandy Lumbermill DIY is the co-host, so check out their channels down in our description box along with the playlist. 
And this is our fourth DIY. This is just a little bottle I bought at the Dollar Tree. This is the same type bottle I used in my Minis Patriotic Challenge. And all I'm going to do is paint this white with some off-white chalk paint. And then I found this little pineapple fabric wedge at Walmart that was 99 cent. And I'm going to just cut out the little pineapples there. And I'm using the Mod Podge. All I'm going to do is paint some of the Mod Podge on the back of the pineapples and then I'm just going to place them around on the little bottle here and then go back over the top of the fabric with the Mod Podge again. And this is just really simple and quick and I didn't place these in any specific way around the bottle. I just tried to mix them up kind of pointing one in one direction and having one maybe a little bit straight and then tilting the other one in the opposite direction. So here I'm just going over this with the Mod Podge and then I'm painting around on the bottle too here just so it's all kind of covered in that same shade. And to finish this off, all I did was take some of this yellow and white twine from the Dollar Tree and I just twisted it around the top here, wrapped it around there a couple times, secured that with my glue gun, and then I just tied a little cute bow there on the top with my glue gun. I'm using these little wooden pineapples and I stained those and I used just some of those little wooden skewers I attached with my glue gun, put another little couple bows on my pineapples and just a couple little floral picks. The greenery was from the Dollar Tree and the little yellow ball type flowers were from Walmart really cute and simple so here's our final reveal everything looks great it's all budget friendly it only cost a few dollars to make all these items we want to thank everybody for watching we want to say thanks again to the ladies that hosted the challenge Devin, Connie and Sandy their information's in our description box along with the playlist so check out the other crafters if you're new to our channel Southern G More Gals don't forget to hit the red subscribe button turn your notifications on you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook Thanks for watching. Have a good day.